The second part of the Reams equation is to determine the pH of the urine and saliva. Again, the goal is accuracy, to get that correct reading. To do that, some people use the pH indicator system. Some testers use very high quality pH meters, which is fine as long as you're absolutely sure of the accuracy you're getting. We'll talk about that more in a moment. If you choose to use the reagent system, you merely put a drop of saliva and a drop of urine in each of two depressions in a ceramic well plate. The reagent system calls for using a small drop of indicator solution in the urine sample and the saliva sample. Depending on what result you get, you may have to go to uh, others in the indicator series to cover those cases that are very alkaline or very acid. The color drops react instantly. Uh, for most people it's a matter of a few seconds once they're experienced, a matter of a few seconds to make their reading. The tough part, if there is a tough part, is to be sure you've got the right card in your hand with the right shading of green, red, blue, whatever. It's important to have good lighting. Uh, daylight is actually considered to be the best, but good fluorescent lighting will help. And to lay your card right next to your sample so you're sure of what you're reading. Many testers take their finger and just hold it against certain color variations on the card so they can get that pH number just right. Once the accurate reading is obtained, you log it in on a sheet. Here we're just using a big sheet of paper to, for a demo, but uh, normally you would use a 3x5 card. As stated before, some testers like to use pH meters. That's your choice, as long as you're absolutely sure of your accuracy. Many beginning testers say, how can I be sure of my result? The best way is to get some pH reagent test solutions and then put some in your depressions and test it and see what you get. That way you can get a pretty good feel and develop some confidence in what you're coming up with. 